How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys a few ways to change your IP address on Windows 10. Now, before I get into the uh, couple of ways here, you can kind of uh, mess with the options here in order to uh, change your IP address. Some of the easiest ways you can change your IP address is simply by just calling your ISP and asking them to change your IP address for whatever reason you give them if they ask for a reason. You can change networks simply. If you have another Wi-Fi, a neighbor's Wi-Fi, your own uh, possibly second network, you could, you could change to that. Um, you could use your mobile. You can use your mobile data. You can just turn on your hotspot, let's say, on your smart uh, device on, or smartphone and uh, use uh, the Wi-Fi, use the connection from there just uh, by turning on the hotspot and connecting your PC to it. You can reset your modem for five to 10 minutes and turn it on again. Just uh, turn it off and turn it on for like five minutes and you'll have a, a new IP address assigned to it. You can use uh, just, okay, so now you can go to the control panel. You can go to network and, and internet network and sharing center okay change adapter settings now this is one way to change your IP address if you have a set IP address that you want to set yourself something a little more uh, specific you can right here use the following IP address and you can input your IP address and the rest of the information uh, as it asks of you here so I'm just gonna keep it on automatic and another way you can change your IP address is by looking up right here in the search bar network status uh, you'll get a window that looks like this and you can use a proxy in order to change your ip address uh, you can look up a bunch of free proxies there are many proxies you can use and just turn it on right here put a port and you'll have a new ip address so these are a bunch of ways you, you can well some are reliable some not so reliable uh, Overall, the reliability is medium to the low end. Um, a really good way to change your IP address is by using a VPN. I have three suggestions for you guys, and these are some of the best VPNs you could use. Now, if you're trying, just as a side note, if you're trying to, let's say, use the other methods to change your IP address in order to access Netflix or access geo-restricted content, you're not going to be able to do that. You can, however, access all kinds of geo-restricted content using a VPN. You've got ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. So if you're interested in any of them, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as individual reviews if you're interested in getting to know the ins and outs of each of them. So ExpressVPN, just as a brief, I'm just going to give you a, a little brief so that you know what these VPNs are about. So ExpressVPN is known to be the best VPN overall in terms of consistency rates, very high consistency rates with unblocking geo restrictions and streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu and HBO Max and whatnot. It's got over 3000 servers in 94 countries, basic, uh, it's got basic features like the kill switch and split tunneling. And overall, it is very consistent with its speeds as well, no matter where you connect. NordVPN is on the cheaper end, uh, slightly cheaper. You can secure five, six devices per subscription, uh, unlike ExpressVPN's five devices per subscription. You've got over 5,300 servers in 59 countries. And it is able to also unblock, for reference, ExpressVPN is able to unblock up to 18 libraries, uh, 18 Netflix libraries. NordVPN is able to unblock up to 10 libraries and Surfshark up to 15 libraries. Surfshark will be on the cheaper end, even cheaper than NordVPN. And uh, it is the VPN that you could just use if you want to just get the job done at the cheapest possible cost. You still get uh, pretty good features uh, and very good security, though not as good as Express and Nord. If we're talking security, uh, Express is definitely going to be the top uh choice here and you do get your basic again your basic features such as split tunneling uh no borders mode which is uh, obfuscation which will help you bypass uh internet restrictions such as the great firewall of china uh though that is always on by default in express vpn which makes it uh very secure um and you've got up to 15 libraries as i said earlier with netflix now, if you're just looking for something that is able to do the job 
the best it can in terms of security and uh, speed and just overall performance and uh, reliability with streaming services, just go with Express. If you're looking for something that is almost as secure, okay, but a little bit cheaper, you can go with Nord. And then you've got Surfshark, which will get the job done at the cheapest possible cost while not sacrificing really that much on uh, security and speed. So that'll be it. If you're interested in any of these, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below. And you'll also find the reviews, which I highly recommend that you check out if you know, uh, so that you know exactly what you're getting yourself into before you get yourself a subscription. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.